Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us try to measure angles. How would we measure angles? Now for that let us have uh, a quick recap of whatever we have learnt till now. So when we talk about measuring angles, let's have a quick recap of all the types of angles that we have learnt just now. So let's start from, we will make, start measuring all the angles with respect to this line. That is we will consider this as one of the arm of the angle. Now, any angle that is starting from 0 degree to 90 degree, to less than 90 degree for that matter. For example, an angle like this, it could be an angle of 30 degree. An angle like this, it could be an angle of 45 degree or an angle like this, which could be an angle of 60 degree. So all of these are referred to as acute angle. The moment you reach the value 90 degree, you reach at right angle. So the angle corresponding to 90 degree is right angle. So anything more than 90 degree, but less than 180 degree. So 180 degree is your straight angle. This is straight angle. So all the, those angles which comes in between 90 and 180, that is, this is the angle. Similarly, this is the angle. So all of these angles are referred to as the obtuse angles. Now all the angles beyond 180 degree, but less than 360 degree. So all of these angles. So if when you talk about this angle, it is this angle. Similarly, when you talk about this angle, it is this angle. So all of these angles, they fall under the category of reflex angles. And finally, when you complete one rotation, you reach complete angle, which corresponds to 360 degrees. So these are the various types of angles that we have learned. So how do we measure an angle? We measure it using a protractor. Now you would have seen a protractor inside your geometry box. So now we will understand how we make use of a protractor to find the measurement of an angle. So we will learn it step by step. So let's say that you are given an angle and you need to measure it. So the first thing that you, to re you need to remember is the midpoint of straight edge of the protractor lies on the vertex of the angle. So this is your protractor, this is the straight edge and this is the curved edge. So the straight edge has a midpoint, this point. So we need to make sure that this point lies exactly on the vertex of the angle. So let's take example of this angle. Let's suppose that you have to measure the value of this angle. This is the vertex of the angle. So we have placed the protractor in such a way that the vertex of the angle and the midpoint of the straight edge of the protractor, they both coincide. So that is how you have to place the protractor. That is the first thing that you need to remember. The second point that you have to remember is straight edge of the protractor is along one arm of the angle. So these are the two arms of the angle. So one arm of the angle should be along the baseline of the protractor, that is the straight edge. This is the straight edge. So the straight edge should lie exactly on the on one of the arms of the angle. So these are the two points you need to remember. If you do not place the protractor correctly, then the measurement that of the angle that you would get would also be incorrect. So these are two important things. Midpoint on the vertex, straight edge along the arm of the angle. Now, once you have placed it correctly, start reading from 0 degree. For example, in this protector, where is 0? 0 is here. Make sure that this 0 mark coincides with the straight edge of the protector. So, the straight edge of the protector and this 0 mark, they should also lie along the same line. So, start counting from 0. Now, you see where is the other arm of the angle. So, the other arm is here. So, see where is it? It is between 70 and 80. So, somewhere exactly between 70 and 80. So, that is 75. So that shows that the measurement of this angle is 75 degrees. So let's take one more example. Let's say that this is an angle which is given to you and you have to find its measurement using a protractor. So how will you place the protractor? This vertex should coincide with the midpoint of the straight edge of the protractor. So this is the midpoint of the protractor. So both of these should be at the same place. Fine. Also, the straight edge of the protractor and one of the arms of this angle should also 
coincide. So therefore, we will praise the protractor in this fashion. Now let's start counting from zero. So where is the other arm of the protractor at 30? So that shows that the angle here is 30 degrees. So in this fashion, we can find out measurement of angles. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.